Welcome to Angel Waters Educational Video 101. Our educational video format will follow the same basic outline, which is we're going to describe what is it, why is it an issue, why do I want to remove it from my water, and most importantly is how do I remove it. Today's video is going to be about sulfur in water, or rotten egg in water, the smell of water. Uh, what creates this rotten egg smell? There's basically three things. You can have either hydrogen sulfide, which is decomposing plant and animal life. You can have your water heater causing a rotten egg smell. And then lastly uh, is iron bacteria. The, uh, that is our main focus of today's video is iron bacteria. Iron bacteria are small living organisms which uh, occur naturally in the soil and in our groundwater. They are nuisance bacteria that combine iron with oxygen and form deposits of rust, but a more of a slimy rust that you can usually see in the back of your toilets. It occurs in your well pipes and your pumps and all your plumbing fixtures. Simply put, this, this means that this is a natural bacteria that's feeding on the Earth's, Earth's most natural element, which is iron. And uh, combined, it creates this slimy, odor, you know, rotten egg smell uh, that occurs throughout the Chicagoland area. We're going to show you a picture of the back of a toilet so you can sort of see what this looks like. You'll actually see the slime that's growing on the walls of the toilet. This bacteria becomes the largest cause of rotten egg or sulfur odor in the Chicagoland area. Now, the question is, why is this an issue? This is an issue because iron bacteria, or the odor, is a big nuisance. A lot of people complain about that rotten egg smell. They can't stand it. Uh, they don't like bathing in it. They feel kind of dirty as a result of what they, the smell that they, they have. This bacteria clogs plumbing fixtures. It creates stains on plumbing fixtures, like your toilets, and your clothing. Uh, it builds up on dyed hair, both men and women. Uh, it gets worse when, you, you, when your water heater heats um, the water. So now the question is why do I want to remove it from my water? Well we need to protect your plumbing. That's going to be probably the most important thing. If left untreated you can actually clog the plumbing of your house and as a result you'll have very very low water pressure. Sometimes actually it even cuts off the water. Uh, buildup of the uh, iron bacteria will uh, also stain your family's laundry which can be very expensive. So again we're talking about things that are going to actually reduce your overall cost as you own this house. Um, third, obviously, it colors your color, it stains your colored hair, so that's, an, that's going to be kind of an issue. And most importantly, it can cause gastrointestinal issues. So that's like sour stomach, diarrhea, bloating. A lot of people who live with this water or maybe lived on other water before and now start drinking this water, they feel, feel a little awkward, and that's because of this bacteria. So now the question is, how do I remove it? Well, we like to follow the Department of Public Health's recommendations. As a licensed plumbing company, uh, we follow very, very strict guidelines as to what they suggest. And they have two options that they recommend. One is a short-term fix. It's actually shocking your well. You can use chlorine liquid or chlorine tablets to be able to shock your well. It's a little complicated, so we do have a web, uh, on our website, you can find directions on how to chlorinate your well. But in this area, we tend to find that it is a short-term fix. It usually lasts only for about three months. The second and the most, uh, most uh, successful process that we have is called consistent chlorination. Consistent chlorination is by the method that cities use. The city of, say, Barrington, they take the water out of the earth, they put it in a water tower, and they've added chlorine to that water. So this system here basically is a water tower where for someone's personal home, we're mixing chlorine into this, into this tank. Then we run that water through a carbon filter to take the chlorine back out. The whole idea there is that we really don't want chlorine running through the whole house. So that, that makes the water extremely good and odor free. Now, those are the top two things the state says. We have experimented with other technologies that are on the market. The only one that has had any good uh, possibilities is ozone technology. Uh, we've had no success except for the past year to two years. We have a new product out that actually uses ozone. There's a little box on the side of this uh, control valve here that produces a pocket of ozone. And as the water passes through it, it kills the bacteria or it actually breaks the, the shell of that uh, bacteria lining. And uh, we've had very good success for the past two years with that. It's not approved by the state of Illinois yet. We hope that that's going to happen in the near future. But as of right now, 
These are the options that you have to eliminate this bacteria and this odor from your water. Thank you very much.